What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony from The Six, and today we have a highly, highly, highly requested video. This is part two of the best sharp badges to use for every single game mode. We got 3v3 Prime in my park, my career, and for Prime and 5v5 Rec. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the uh, in my pinned comment, I'm gonna have each layout with the timestamp. So, if you guys wanna go just to my career or to my 5v5 Prime, you can go in the pinned comment and click the timestamps there. So, let's go ahead first. What we're gonna get into first is the 3v3 Pro Am and the My Park badges. So, right now, these are the badges that I have equipped. I was playing uh, Park and a lot of 3v3 Pro Am. These are the badges that I'm using. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put them in order for you guys. So, we're gonna kinda, you know, we're gonna take all these down quick and I'll show y'all what I do in what order um, for the best badges that I'd be rocking with. So now, a lot of it depends on your play style. If you're gonna be playing the two or be playing off ball, you gotta have catch and shoot as a primary badge on gold or hall of fame for sure. As you guys can see, clutch shooter for me has to go on gold or hall of fame. I know a lot of y'all don't have 30 sharp badges. Y'all might have 18, 20, 22, but for me, clutch shooter has to be on gold or hall of fame for sure. Especially if you're playing park or 3v3 prime because once, it, once the score hits 11 or 12, clutch shooter activates and you'll be able to use it so clutch shooter has to be on gold or hall of fame like i was saying once you hit 11 or 12 points in the part game even if it's 12 to 6 or 13 to 6 or 13 to 15 clutch will activate and it definitely increases the um make percentage 100 i definitely recommend that badge in my top three then i'm gonna go with hot zone hunter hall of fame for sure you need to have hot zones and range extender these four badges right here for 3v3 park and pro am are the four badges that i'd be rocking with the most for sure then you can go ahead and throw on the dead eye the green machine i'm gonna give you guys a ranking chart coming up right now as well uh, just to show you guys what order i rank these badges in for park uh dead eye you don't really need hall of fame i'd be using the hall of fame just because i take a lot of contested um difficult shots is also good on hall of fame another thing that i recommend though is that if you're having trouble timing your jump shot I don't really have this problem, but definitely use flexible release on silver or gold. It will help you out a lot if you play on high latency or if you just can't green your jump shot. But what I rock with before, hot start, and then I don't even remember what I had, I think I corner specialist like that or something like that. But as you guys can see, there's a lot of variations. Badges I do not recommend for park. I don't recommend volume shooter. Steady shooter is no good for when you're open. Tireless shooter is a maybe. Um, the only reason why I don't use Tyler Shooter, I'm going to show you guys right now. Let's go right here. Because I got Gym Rat, and half the time I buy Gatorade Boost when I play, so I have extra stamina, extra energy, and I don't feel like I need Tireless because most of the time when I get the ball, I still have a good amount of energy due to the Gym Rat and due to Gatorade. But if you're not playing with Tireless or with, um, sorry, if you're not playing with Gym Rat or with Gatorade, then I definitely, definitely recommend Tireless Shooter that badge will help you out for sure because you're going to be running out of energy really, 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 really fast. All right, so for the rating scale for the 3v3 Pro-Am slash Park, I'm going Range Extender 1, Hot Zone Hunter 2, Clutch Shooter 3. Those are the top three badges that I would have if I'm playing 3v3 Pro-Am or Park. Those three are a must. And then from 4 to 10, they're kind of interchangeable, but those, the... The area that I have them laid out is the importance that I think. Like I said, volume shooter, I don't think is that important. I've been watching 2K Labs as well. Um, volume shooter is not that helpful on park. If you're having trouble, you're playing high latency, you're playing in a different server, put on flexible, it will help you out. 5 to 10 is really interchangeable. Dead eye, difficult shots, it depends on play style. If you take a lot of fadeaway mid ranges, then bump dead eye to 4 or 5. Uh, I mean, sorry, difficult shots, you bumped it up to 4 or 5. If you don't have gym rat and you don't play with Gatorade boost, then I would jump tireless shooter up to five or six as well. Um, I know a lot of you guys don't have 30 sharp badges. So remember, you guys don't have to put them all on Hall of Fame. You can put them on gold. But those first three, range extender and hot zone hunter have to be on Hall of Fame. And clutch shooter has to be on gold minimum. All right, now we're on to the 5v5 Pro-Am or Jordan Rec Center. This is a badge that I will normally rock. As you guys can see, I do not have clutch on Hall of Fame. I do not even have it equipped at all because in the 5v5 Pro-Am or in the Rec Center, uh, clutch is only going to activate in like the second part of the fourth quarter. And I don't know, it depends if you're in a lot of close games. It's just that you're not using those four batch points or three batch points until the end of the game. 
So I would rather have those kind of split up different, differently for corner specialist. Tyler's on silver. We still got Hall of Fame range, uh, catch and shoot, dead eye. As you guys can see, this is kind of the bad setup that I would use. You could also change this around, but for Pro-Am, I feel like catch and shoot is very important. Dead eye is very important. Green machines you can get consistently going. Range extender, hot zone hunter. Um, so like I said as well, you guys will see the one to 10 for the 5v5 Pro-Am and for the rec center. Um, I equipped tire this here because in the park, the games kind of end quicker and with the gym rat and with the uh, Gatorade boost, you don't really need tireless. But I find when I play Prime a lot, I'm running a lot of off ball screens and, you know, playing running back, trying to get back on defense or fast breaks. Tyler's definitely will help me out because um, run out of stamina a little bit quicker in pro -Am, So it's definitely something that you guys should look into as well. Personally, I don't really use corner specialist. Um, so you can always kind of knock this down. You can put this up and like this is another variation of that. And this is probably what I would rock with aside from corner specialist. At the end of the day, I have a 99 three ball and with catch and shoot. Dead Eye, Hot Zone Hunter, and Range Extender, which activates in the corner. I really don't feel like I need Corner Specialist. I got enough of a boost. All right, y'all. So here's the rating scale 1 to 10 for the 5v5 Pro Arm and the Jordan Wreck. We got Range and Hot Zone Hunter. As you guys can see, I took out Clutch because we don't need that. So I bumped up Catch and Shoot. I bumped up Tireless. I bumped up Dead Eye. Uh, volume is also good for Wreck, depending on how many shots you're taking the game. This also depends on your playstyle as well. Um, and people probably are looking at me and going, why do you have corner specialist number 10? Especially if I'm going to sit corner. Like, you know, I want to put on corner specialist. I mean, you can, but range extender helps in the corner. Hot zone hunter helps in the corner if you have your hot spots. Catch and shoot obviously helps along with dead eye. And most of the time, the point guard has dimer. And if you have an 85 or above three ball with like 15 to 20 badges, I would not be wasting badge points on corner specialist. I'd rather see you guys put it on one of those first five or even green machine or flexible or volume as well like there's these the nine options before that are better than corner specialist we're gonna get into the career now all right y'all on to the my career section now like i said earlier i know a lot of you guys don't have 30 sharp badges so that's why i'm gonna give you guys the rating scale from one to ten for each one so you can prioritize the badges that i think are the best and then you can kind of not use any or lower the uh, difficulty like hall of fame gold on the other ones so for my career just because when you play my career you're not really focused you're kind of probably watching netflix or playing absent-mindedly um i would definitely throw volume on hall of fame catch and shoot hall of fame flexible even on silver i just threw the flexible on silver because i had too many badge points for um my career i know it sounds crazy but these are the this is what i would rock for my career but if you're starting out my career and you're grinding a new sharp right from the get-go these this is the order that i'm gonna show you guys to go in all right so off rip in my career what you want to do is you want to play on pro anyways you want to go range extender first you want to go hot zone hunter then you can go catch and shoot because you could just spot up at the hash and then you'll have all three of these activate so once you have these three uh let's say you put them all in hall of fame you'll have 12 badge points out of however many you have if you're playing career the grind the badges these three will help like i said you could spot up at the hash between the range extender the hot zone hunter and the catch and shoot you will be able to get your hot zones fast and it's definitely going to help you get your badge points really quick because like i said you're going to play on pro anyways now the next badge that i would really go with is i would go with green machine after that you can go with volume shooter for my career uh dead eye like i said you don't re like you don't really need it on pro you guys can use that like i said if you're playing absent-mindedly on career like sometimes i'll be playing career i'm not even paying attention i'm like on my phone or watching netflix you can put flexible release on as well difficult shots you're not really gonna need uh you can put it on as well tireless just in case but on pro you're not gonna need that so yeah my career is very easy to get badges um you could put dead eye up and then you can go ahead and put like difficult shots on silver if you want to take some fadeaways or like i said you can knock it down and have it like this the way it was before all right y'all so here's the rating scale for my career as you guys can see we still have range and hot zone hunter as the top two badges i put green machine up there and catch and shoot just because you want to be consistently greening um, a lot of the times when you play career it's kind of passive you know you're not really paying attention you're either watching netflix or kind of doing something else at least for me so flexible is an honorable mention as well and you can put that in your top five so you can go range hot zone hunter flexible catch and shoot and volume shooter and even those five alone will help you out but like i was saying earlier the order you need to get these badges in is range extender and hot zone hunter and from there you guys can kind of go with whatever else you want just because range extender helps spread the floor you can sit at the hash you can walk up with your player and green from limitless um, and most of the time you're going to be playing on pro anyways and you'll be able to get badges really quick 
so i hope part two helped y'all out definitely some things change i watched 2k lab um there's a lot of different things that i took into account so the badge setup is kind of different from my first video but a lot of the stuff still remained the same so follow this y'all will be goaded badges are very important this year i hope this video helped y'all out i'm gonna catch you on the next one it's your boy tony from the six peace